Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to my very first Paragon gameplay video. Today I want to be giving you my very first impressions after playing Paragon for roughly 5 or 6 hours over at the Epic Games Studio. A couple of weeks ago they invited me over to actually, you know, come and physically try out the game over at their main office and I got flown out all the way from the Netherlands to their studio in North Carolina. It was actually the shortest trip I've ever been on. They had about, I don't know, like 35 hours or so of traveling just to test out their upcoming video game, which honestly was one of the best experiences I've had for a while. It was really, really cool to meet all the guys that are working on the game, but enough fanboying for the moment. Let's talk about this game. So, as you may have already noticed, this is going to be alpha footage. All of the footage that you're seeing on the screen right now is going to be subject to change. And on top of that, I am still under sort of like an embargo NDA type thing, which prevents me from talking about certain subjects. So I'm going to be talking about purely the gameplay, as well as like, you know, my personal experiences with it so far. I will give you an honest impression though, so don't think I'm going to be biased or whatever in this regard. I've played many of MOBAs, I've played League of Legends, I've played Dota, I've played, you know, pretty much all of them. I play a heck of a lot of Heroes of the Storm still, and I'm going to be comparing it to those games in this video as well. Alright, so I'll be honest, when I first heard that Paragon was getting developed, I wasn't really too stoked about it. I mean, there's already a lot of MOBAs out there, most of the MOBAs that are being released are really not that popular to begin with, just because primarily League of Legends and Dota 2 are dominating the genre. We also have games like Smite, we have Heroes of the Storm, um, that are being actively pushed to try and, you know, succeed at the same level as Dota or League, but it's really not quite there yet. And for the most part, when I heard that another MOBA was getting released, I was like, ah, you know, uh, th that's gotta be difficult. We'll talk about that a little bit later on in this video as well, but when I first when I first actually saw gameplay footage, I thought I was watching a trailer. I thought I was watching a cutscene that would happen in the game. Turns out that the game is absolutely gorgeous, as you're seeing on the screen right now as well. It is gameplay that I played myself over at the studio after a couple of hours, so it's definitely not, not the highest gameplay at all. However, I also got footage from the developers that have been playing this game for, you know, a couple of years right now, I'm sure, and they are much better than me. So if you see some high-level gameplay, that's not me. That's the developers that sent it to me. Alright, so first things first. Let's talk about the graphics. The graphics are absolutely beautiful. I think they're far and away the best looking graphics that I've ever seen in a mobile game yet. It's very important to note that it is going to be running the Unreal Engine and that is actually developed by Epic Games themselves. So if you, for example, have ever played Gears of War or Unreal Tournament or really any kind of, you know, recent game, um, it is created by these dudes that also create these astoundingly looking games. Um, and it, it's made by the same company, right? So they can adjust the engine to their like if they need to and in my opinion it looks far better than Heroes of the Storm, League of Legends, Dota and whatnot. The art style definitely um, you know looks great and it's just very very beautiful. As far as gameplay goes it is very 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 standard MOBA. Both of the teams have a core. You play in a team of five people and if you manage to you know destroy the opposing core you will actually win the game. There's obviously gonna be towers and forts and whatnot along the way. Heroes level up, games take roughly 40 minutes or so, so that's a little bit longer than, than for example, Heroes of the Storm, but very similar to Dota and League. You get constant creep waves that spawn on the three lanes that you have on the map, and, you know, there's different heroes available in the game that you can choose from, going from, like, a tank to a healer to a damage dealer. Pretty standard, pretty straightforward, nothing unique right there at all. Now, one of the interesting aspects that we have seen before in games such as Smite is the fact that the game runs in like a first-person slash third-person type view, uh, where you actually have a crosshair in the middle of the screen. And more importantly, you need to make sure you're aiming your abilities. If you're actually clicking around and you're not actually hitting a target with it, it is because your crosshair is not on top of the target that you're trying to hit. And this is kind of a kind of an interesting aspect, especially because the game looks as good as it does. Uh, it makes it feel a little bit more like playing. You know, for example, a first-person shooter or something like that. Now, it is very important to note, though, because I saw some confusion going on on Reddit and on the forums and whatnot, that this is definitely not a shooter. It's not a first-person shooter. It's a strategic team-based game that has a lot more MOBA aspects as it has a first-person aspect. I mean, the fact of the matter is that you have a crosshair doesn't necessarily mean that it's immediately going to be a shooter as well. So gameplay-wise, the only unique aspect that we really got is the fact that it looks great, and that it also has a crosshair in the middle of the screen that is also somewhat unique. 
Other than that, all the aspects of all the other MOBA games that are out there currently are pretty much present in the game, and there's really no, you know, no unique design principles right there whatsoever. It's not like Heroes of the Storm where there's currently like multiple maps available and you have different strategic approaches on all of those maps. It's just one map where you can go ahead and play, you choose your hero, you join up with your teammates and you crush the opponent or at least try to. As far as the nitty gritty details go, last hitting is not 100% mandatory. However, if you actually do last hit a mob, you gain extra experience that will float towards your champion. If you actually do not get the last hit one, um, you will actually be able to just pick up the uh, the orbs that lie on the floor and you can still level up that way as well. I believe you do get a bonus experience uh, for last hitting, but it's not like it's 100% mandatory. Um, and as far as I'm aware, you also are not able to deny creeps. Also, just like in Dota and League of Legends and whatnot, you also have an item shop that you can use to actually purchase and upgrade your character while in-game. And obviously, you can also customize your character out of game. There's also a jungle in the game that sort of, you know, hides you from the general view. It will actually allow you to get some extra experience as well from slaying mobs. And on top of that, you also have a red buff as well as a blue buff as well as another buff. But that's not really that important to talk about right now. So long story short, the game isn't very unique as far as gameplay aspects go, except for the fact that it's first person view, that you can be playing it cross platform, and you know, that it looks much better than the average MOBA out there. Now what do I like about the game? First off, there is a huge amount of personal skill in this. I mean, coming from someone who primarily plays a, you know, relaxed casual game such as uh, Heroes of the Storm primarily when I want to be playing a MOBA, I actually really like the fact that there is a huge amount of personal skill. I mean, oftentimes in a lot of games, it's just a simple, you know, it's just a simple math question. If it's 4v5, more often than not, the players that are with 5 are going to be winning the game. However, more so than in all of the other MOBAs that I've played so far, it felt like, you know, I, as a personal player, as like an individual, had a lot more chance to shine if I was using my skills correctly. It was much less so of a math question, more so than a personal skill question. And I think that is absolutely awesome. So usually the better group of players is always going to be able to take the victory. There's a huge potential for beautiful like plays of the game as well and like, you know, general esports-esque moments where you just, you know, have things blowing up in your face. One of the things though to note about that is that in some scenarios it did feel a little bit overwhelming and that the, you know, the graphics were a little bit too good and like the bloom effects and the, the sparkles and all that sort of stuff and the particles were just flying everywhere that I couldn't really keep track of the combat but I'm guessing if you play it enough that that is not going to be that much of an issue. Now, all of the heroes are unique, just in all of the other MOMAs, but just because, you know, some of the heroes have, like, movement speed buffs and whatnot, it is oftentimes pretty difficult to shoot your skill shots. I find it pretty difficult to figure out exactly what range my, you know, for example, like, my bow and arrow have, what range I can actually go ahead and shoot my opponents at, and that's obviously also mostly just a matter of practice, but, you know, it's it, it did feel a little bit tricky, and that's just, you know, that's just the first person aspect of it. The other thing that I really like about it is that it is going to be cross-platform. So, because you can be playing on both a PlayStation as well as like on a PC and whatnot, you can actually obviously, you know, gather a much bigger audience. As far as I'm aware, there's currently no solid MOBAs available really on any kind of console yet. So if they manage to flush this out properly on console as well, and it seems to be that it's extremely well organized already. I mean, I did get the chance to play on the PS4 just for a little bit. And while I'm not a console player at all, the, the controls felt pretty intuitive. And, you know, for it being an alpha version of that stage as well, it felt very, very polished already. Also, the one thing that I do really like is that the developers kept mentioning that they are not trying to make this game pay to win or like pay to get a huge advantage or anything like that. I can't really talk about the payment model at all, but I'm glad that, you know, they're not having the aim here to try and squeeze out as much money out of the consumer as possible. Because if that was the case, obviously this game is doomed right from the get-go, because nobody really wants to pay and, you know, pay to win or whatnot. And last but not least, I think the uh, the community communication in general on like the forums and on Reddit and whatnot so far has been great. Obviously, the player base is very small at the moment, so it's hard to maintain that. But if they're, you know, communicating all the way through like they have been doing so far, I think it definitely could have an edge as far as like, you know, competing games go. So basically, I think this game is extremely promising. It has a ton of potential. But there is one thing that I think is worth discussing, and that is the timing of the release. So it is currently in alpha. I don't know when the game is going to be, re you know, I don't know when the game is going to be released yet. However, it is entering a very, very competitive market. 
like I already was talking about, this market is saturated with games like League of Legends and Dota, and obviously games like Heroes of the Storm and Smite as well. Heroes of the Storm recently announced that they're going to be able to, you know, uh, basically, I, I believe they're handing out like $4 million in prize money in 2016, and in order to compete with companies like that, you obviously need to just simply have a heck of a lot of money available to take a risk and throw that at a game like this. I think if this was released a couple years ago, it would undoubtedly be extremely popular and almost certainly be dominating the charts because if they manage to you know play this out well and it plays you know as smoothly as we did so far and it's going to keep continuing that development i think it would have had a ton of potential but the, the fact of the matter is right now that the market is already super saturated there are so many you know there are so many mobas out there currently that are being released and are just simply failing that i am a little bit worried about the timing for this game and I'm kind of curious how it will be picked up by the community eventually. Here's the thing, I think most of the people that would have wanted to play a MOBA up to this point have already played a MOBA or are currently playing a MOBA. And because most of those people will already be playing a MOBA, they are invested in a certain game. And after I invested a couple hundred bucks, I don't even know exactly how much, and here was the storm, making me switch over is kind of a tricky thing and I can't imagine that if you've been playing League of Legends for years and years and years and you've been collecting all your heroes, your skins and whatnot, moving over to a new MOBA is practically not an option. Especially because the game is really not bringing any kind of really unique aspects to the market other than it being first person and it being cross-platform. I mean it's pretty basic and it's pretty standard as far as MOBA goes. So, so far, gameplay-wise and game-wise, I think it's cool. I think it's really fun to play. I think it has a ton of potential. As far as the timing for the release, though, goes, I'm really a little bit doubting about that. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you haven't already, hit that like button. If you want to see more Paragon content, hit that subscribe button, and I will be releasing it as soon as I possibly can. I want to thank you all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile, all right? And I'll see you in the next one.